And Rod, have that for us. Yes, uh, this Friday, of course, is Black Friday, if not the mm -hmm. busiest shopping day of the year, certainly one of them. And with that in mind, Rod, we announced the return of the PDX pop-up shops. Uh, which actually opened up last Thursday. Lisa yeah. Frisch, uh, part of the Portland Business Alliance, which runs and operates these PDX pop-up shops. So my first question, if someone's watching and says, what the heck do they mean by pop-up shops? Explain, please. So this is the eighth year of our program where we match up small local independent retailers with free retail space downtown for the holidays. We're open six weeks, they're closed, January 1st, but we work with the local vendors to see if they want to stay on in another space and become a permanent shop in downtown. Yeah, I didn't realize it was free space actually. So I'm thinking you probably have people hoarding to you to take advantage of this, right? Uh, we do. We interview people all year long, and I think this year we talked about 20 different um, entrepreneurs yeah. in downtown. We wish we could help everyone, but we have limited space. So where are we going to find them? I think it's fun because you get unique shops opening up downtown, and we would go where to find these shops? Yeah. Scattered everywhere? Or? Well, this year we have two locations that host a total of four shops. Pioneer Place at 5th and Morrison has one store with three different entrepreneurs in it. And then 4th and Salmon has um, Portland Saturday Market indoors. We're going to cover one of these businesses specifically in a moment, but you're going to yes. tackle the other three for us right now. Absolutely. Okay, what we got? So we've got three of our shops here. One of them is called Animal, Plant, and Mineral, and they have a raw goods collection of things that are made of animals, plants, and minerals. So we've got a great cashmere hat with a, a fun for pom poms. Ooh, is it soft? It's so soft. I and love cashmere. It's reclaimed <laughs> it on, cashmere <laughs> and it's reversible. Oh, no, it is soft. It's got this lovely tank. I right think you're supposed to like do that. it like this. <laughs> there, there we are. Head. There we are. Okay, very stylish. Don't you cover your head with that we thing? have a, a brass and agate <laughs> necklace and then also a really fun um, holiday Christmas ornament with a um, succulent on the answer, a little yeah. air plant. These are local artisans, is that correct? They Am are. Right? They're all local entrepreneurs. We yeah. have a mix of items that are made in Portland and made in other places, but they're all only things that you will find okay. in this pop-up shop. If you have less than 30 seconds, you probably need to mention at least the other two by name. Yeah, really quick. This is the Chic Coop. It's a jewelry boutique in a chicken coop. It's so Portland and that super really cool. cool. That is Portland. And on the end there, we have a collection of items from Portland Saturday Market indoors. So you know Portland Saturday Market. They're open Saturday yeah. and Sunday. If you can't make it down on the weekend, Mm. We've got a shop open seven days a week for you. I love the coasters. See, you were even telling me that, that what's around your neck has so, to do with that last vendor. So I'm wearing something from Portland Saturday Market Indoors. It's um, by a, a vendor named Trouble Knit, and it's a great way to dress up a holiday outfit um, for all the parties coming up. It's a little red fox. Great but way to dress up a weatherman, it's too. It's knit <laughs> and fun and just a really great kind of conversation piece for your holiday parties. That's all lovely. Right. I love it. Okay, we're going to meet one yes. of the pop-up uh, yes. pop stores. Lisa, good job. So Thank we're going to step next door. The one we haven't mentioned yet is called Different Pigeon. Yes. And this is a, uh, an operation that supports New Avenues for Youth. Jessica Elkin from New Avenues for Youth is joined by Erica. Uh, from what I understand, Erica, you've created some of the artwork uh, that we may find on these products from Different Pigeon. And if I can say one more thing before we get rolling You may, here. sir. If you're not familiar with New Avenues for Youth, they've been around for 20 yeah. years. They support homeless and at-risk youth in our area. So, Jessica, Different Pigeon, how does that play into what New Avenues is all about? So as you know, Drew, we own and operate social purpose enterprises here in Portland, our Ben & Jerry's, a screen printing business, and we really wanted to capitalize off of the creative talents of our young people, and so we decided to launch a business that did that. And Different Pigeon is an apparel line focusing on graphic design. Youth work with mentors in the community, AKQA, Nemo, and others that work alongside our youth to create one-of-a-kind designs that we then screen print at New Avenues, Inc. And here we are with Different Pigeon. And Erica wow. is one of the brains behind the operation <laughs> who's working in the pop-up shop this holiday season. So Erica, take us, uh, take us through some of the things on the table. Yeah, for sure. So it's kind of like teamwork makes the dream work. Uh, one of my friends, like Ricardo, designed this. He does graphic design, so it's kind of like pictures and verbiage he found. Some of this. Uh, yeah, and it kind of, mm. our um, theme was community. So this is everyone's kind of different idea of community, you know, which is just showcasing Portland, different things about Portland. And one of my favorites, though, is actually we've been doing sweaters recently. And if you feel this, okay, it's I like super soft. Oh, it's soft. Yeah, super Where? warm. I like We're soft. Yeah, and we've been branding a lot. Yeah, oh, okay. seriously. What's the material? Because it is soft. It feels terrific. It's so it's cotton. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. High it's just cotton. really thick. Yeah, it's yeah, super no, it's, thick. Uh, and they also have the pullovers, but yeah, we've been like branding a lot more and just kind of reaching out and trying different products. So we have like the soaps we're doing. We have oh, the wow. awesome blanket. Coffee. Yeah, Beaumont blanket. We have calendars we did with calendar holder. We have journals, mugs. I mean, oh wow. Yeah, we're just expanding. Now, where's your store going to be at? 
Well, right now we're actually um, in the pop-up shop with the sheet coop and the other one. Okay. And it's just for the season, but we do have a store 365 online, and that's kind of where we sell most of our stuff. 365 we're online. Getting our name out there this season, you know, is, telling Portland, hey, we're a different pigeon. Is there a way to put into words, Erica, or if Jesse, you want to jump in? Uh, when, when we're talking about New Avenue serving at risk and homeless youth, the opportunities that different pigeon provides, what can that mean for, for youth that is involved in this project? Oh my gosh, um, basically it provides opportunity to, I would say just gain like skills in your dream or if you're interested at all in any kind of art, I mean it serves like graphic design, they have the ink shop, they have mentors throughout the community that they'll network with to do workshops for us. So literally you can be a poet, you can be an artist, you can just be interested in making clothing and there's something you can get from it. Mm. Support, our local, uh, support our local youth. Uh, shop Different Pigeon this holiday season. Again, they're one of the four PDX pop-up shops you'll find and there's a great look inside. Check them out this holiday season. They're open for five more weeks. We have much more Portland today coming up right after the this. The soap smells wonderful. I like soap. You smell wonderful.